In our last video, we showed you the construction of our new greenhouse. We continue to make improvements, and we've even planted a garden. But not everything is coming up roses. Well, we woke up this morning to devastation in the garden. How did this happen? Well, this great garden that Grandpa built has one glaring problem. Come along with us on this episode and we'll show you the progress we're making in our greenhouse and in our new garden. Well, spring feels like it's kind of sprung here in Michigan. Never can quite tell because uh, it seems we get a few false starts here and there. We had 70 degree temperatures a couple weeks ago, but then we went back into the 40s with overnights down in the low 30s, upper 20s. So yeah, people tell us don't put your garden in uh, yet. Um, wait until, what is it, Mother's Day I think they said? Being from Alaska, we uh, never really had a garden up there. So this is gonna be kind of a new experience for us. We're starting to ask friends, what do you do? How do you, how do you be successful gardeners? Over the past weeks, we've tilled the ground, set all these posts in concrete, put in uh, the fencing, and uh, Karen and Heather have gone in and started putting some plants down in the ground. So the reason for the fencing is here in Michigan, especially rural Michigan like where we're at, we have uh, deer um, as neighbors and they love to come eat people's gardens. And so we've been told, hey, you need to put a fence up and put stuff around it and uh, do something to protect the, uh, the work that you're putting in. Today's job is to uh, build a gate, fit this hole, hang it and uh, prevent uh, easy access. I'm going to start by just taking some 2x4 material that I've got hanging around here. It's uh, pressure treated uh, material and framing the outline and then we'll put a cross member in and then we'll uh, cover it with uh, fencing. So I cut the boards to length here and uh, now I'm going ahead and putting a dado cut in each end so that uh, we can notch those things out and attach the frame together. All right, so now we got the uh, the frame of it made. Now we just need to put a cross piece in it to give it some support diagonally. Well, the cross section we cut fits nice. Uh, it's snug, but not overly. Now the next question is, how are we going to attach this thing? I suppose one way we could do, we could put a plate um, right down here over the... Uh, the pieces of wood and tie them all together like you would with a truss. But I think instead I'm going to drill nail, uh, drill holes in from the edges so that I can put a three inch screw um, from the sides in. So I sunk two in from the side, one in from the bottom. I think it's pretty stable. We'll see. So now it's just a matter of hanging this gate in place. Karen came over to give me a hand while I drove the screws into the post.
So what we're doing today is we're going to kind of clean up here between the uh, the garden and the greenhouse over here. We've got a couple uh, fruit trees to plant in here and we're just kind of going to spread out um, the topsoil and a little bit of mulch that's behind it sitting in front of that old pile of trusses and uh, try to get the tree planted, make it look a little nicer in here. Well, we woke up this morning to devastation in the garden. Hardly a garden yet. The gals came out this morning to weed the garden and discovered rows of little plants have been snipped off at the root. How? We don't know. Why? We're not sure. How did this happen? Well, this great garden that Grandpa built has one glaring problem. The problem being that the door here is missing some screen, which is an open invitation for all kinds of critters to come and feast at the table that has been set for them. I don't know. I just, I think, I think we are, I'm going to come in between the rows of carrots and try to distinguish them more. That was another thing I wanted to do. We're not gardeners. <laughs> We're amateurs. We're uh, uh, figuring out our Amateurs at heart. We'll have radishes. Anyone want radishes? And some lettuce. Sadly, our spinach, which was doing so well, is now gone. Now gone. Although, I think I'd still leave it alone to see if. Yeah, it might come back. It might come back. It might come back. We have far more seeds to plant, but. Yeah. <sighs> Finish the gate, Papa. So with a clear mandate in mind, I set about doing the final steps to make our garden secure. I think that's good enough for now. Hopefully we won't have any more nighttime visitors. Invaders. Invaders. Garden destroyers. Yeah. So in order to make this greenhouse fully functional, I need to build some planter boxes. I've got a variety of pieces of wood here that are left over from the uh, forms that we use for the concrete pour on the footings. So we're gonna take some of those and uh, just cut into it and see what materializes and let's try it again oh take we are we are still going <laughs> so Karen grabbed the trailer <laughs> we're such amateurs yeah ready yeah so Karen grabbed the trailer um, the small trailer yeah 98 <laughs> nice. so Karen grabbed the small trailer and uh, went down to a local nursery and grabbed some dirt uh, getting it by the scoop seems to be a little more economical than by the bag, so um, she just had them dump a bunch in the back of the trailer. Uh, so tell me what we got, hon. Uh, we got vegetable garden compost dirt. Compost dirt. All right. That sounds appetizing. Yeah. <laughs> you want to help? Oh, yeah. You help. All right. What do we got here? We got dirt. Dirt? Dirt. Oh, wow. oh my goodness. Yeah. 
We're back to get really dark feet. There, look at that. Isn't that beautiful That's dirt? That's really beautiful dirt. It is. Got it. So, this is your task. Put all this dirt in here with your little shovel. Yeah. Have fun. Oh my goodness. You're going to be at that all day long. I know. You need a bigger shovel. This is a lot of dirt. It is a lot of dirt. Yeah. Say, Grandma, I need a bigger shovel. I need a bigger shovel. So this morning we, I, went to get some dirt, a whole yard of dirt, so that when Paul builds all these plunger boxes, we have something to put in them. And he has built a lot of boxes, and I've been putting holes in plastic and planting today. So we're at the tail end, got our herbs over there, got our tomatoes, cucumbers, got some zucchinis and lettuce here. We're still trying to start seed stuff, and we're just trying to make some progress. <laughs> so Karen and I are working out here in our new fancy greenhouse, and we're starting to do some potting of plants. One of the things I'm doing here is building her some uh, planter boxes, and I uh, built the boxes a few days ago, and she's like, all right, I'm going to fill them up. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Because I'd seen something on YouTube that's like, oh, this would be an interesting thing to try. So anyway, this is what we're doing. Check this out. First of all, I built kind of a plain Jane box. Um, this one's about uh, 15 inches by two feet um, and about one foot tall. And then inside of it, I went ahead and lined it with plastic so that it's uh, not going to leak any water. And inside the plastic then, I, um, I filled it with this rock layer. The idea is there's going to be a rock, um, a water bath in the bottom of this container. So over here in the corner we have a tube and it's cut at an angle. Um, and this will be a, a water fill tube. So you'll fill water from the bottom and it will come into this bed of rocks and permeate in between the rocks and just kind of sit there. And um, uh, you can fill the water up to the top of the rock layer and then um, once it gets that full um, any excess will actually drain out through this drain tube that uh, you see poking through the plastic and through the hole so kind of like a boat with a bilge pump and hole in the side anyway that's uh, the first thing and then on top of this contraption we're going to go ahead and lay this um, fabric down uh, just to create a separation between the actual uh, organic dirt layer and that uh, waterbed. Um, and the idea is that um, you don't actually water the dirt. The dirt will actually wick water up out of the base. Um, so you just keep the base filled and you fill it once a week or so and it self-waters. I don't know if it'll work. We'll find out and let you know. Well, Karen and I got quite a bit done here in the greenhouse today. Uh, we built quite a few planter boxes and got those filled up with dirt. And Karen transplanted a lot of her uh, starter plants into the larger boxes. Over here on this side of the greenhouse, we um, transplanted plants, but we also created these trellis systems. The first uh, trellis system that I put up, I put horizontal to the back wall. Then I thought, how are we going to actually get behind and harvest fruit or vegetables off of that? And so we ended up changing our strategy on this other half and made the, uh, the trellises uh, perpendicular to the back wall. I don't know if you can see them here, but uh, they're just hanging from a rack system that I mounted up there in the rafters. We'll see how it works. All right, so here's our garden. And uh, holy crap, look at what the ladies are growing. Lots of little things growing up, but we wanted this path. So we went ahead and dug out the middle section. Uh, Karen laid down forms and uh, some landscape fabric. And now we're gonna put rock on top of it just to kind of finish it out. Olivia over here is defending the garden this morning. That's right. What did you see, Olivia? Actually, she ran over uh, by the pop-up camper and scared something and out of the uh, the camper 
pop this little animal come scurrying across here um, past the garden gate door over to the extra trusses that we have stacked over here turns out there's a little rabbit who is uh, just eyeballing our garden so we have a little Peter Cottontail that she's gonna have to keep an eye out for. You know the rabbit? <laughs> yes. That wiped out our spinach earlier in the season. I'm sad. sure. I'm sure. I'm sure of it. Now He's just waiting to see what the second course is gonna be. Right. Right. Really nice addition, gals. Yeah. It looks great. Your weeding just really brings out all the plants and now you have a walkway. Thanks, Karen, for digging that out and spreading stuff out. Yeah. I think the rabbits are going to enjoy eating. I mean, we're going to eat, enjoy eating food out of this garden. Yeah. Oh, welcome to our greenhouse. Our sanctuary. We have nice, happy zucchini. Okay. So, we've, so we, we pollinated the zucchini. We pollinated the cucumbers because they need help inside the greenhouse. And then the tomatoes, we just have been shaking them, shaking them and they self-pollinate. Um, not sure about the peppers. The peppers haven't really done anything. But this, this right here has been a nice surprise. The lettuce, it's kind of a cool concept. It waters itself, so we don't have to put any um, direct water on the soil, so there's no dirt splashing up on the lettuce. So I think mom and dad are going to make more of these maybe in the future, but just the concept of the lettuce, the lettuce not having any dirt on it is pretty sweet. So now, this is our basil, okay. this is our cilantro, dill, parsley, and oregano, and we're still learning how to take care of herbs. We have a little tomato turning its color. Little by little, step by step, our greenhouse and garden project is coming together. From the greenhouse, to the happy trees that we planted, to the garden itself. I see green stuff coming up all over the place. I think I'm going to call that a win. Well, in our next videos, we're going to shift focus back to our house build projects. If you like the video, like, subscribe, and all that kind of stuff. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.